Okay. Interesting. We are locked up in a cell in a rusty old ship. Hmm. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Uh. Phew. These are heavy. I guess they didn't figure there would be a trap door inside of the cell, wouldn't they? Oh, it's it's scrubbing bubbles. Yeah. All right, now let's get out quickly. All right. Hey. We Really? Here come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. I didn't know how fish chewed bubble gum. One of the rustlers brought a whole bunch of it for us. I think he thought it was a normal part of our diet. Hmm. That's very interesting. You guys can blow pretty good bubbles. Alright, it looks like we have to go Maybe through. We can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. This is a nice sturdy chain. Oh. This is fun. I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. Maybe we can find a way to yank those bars out. Yeah. If only we had... Oh, I know now. Hoist the anchor, Hoskins. We set sail for the new world. <laughs> I wonder how we're going to get those bubbles. Uh, the chain won't quite reach the bars. Hmm. We're Maybe going... we can make it longer. Or maybe we need something on the end of that chain. Hmm, 
I bet we can do that when we steer the ship. Yeah, look at this. This is the captain's cabin, looks like. <laughs> I win. Wheel of Fortune. Look! I'm the captain! Whoa. Something moved. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Hey, it's not polite to stick out your tongue. Ooh! Look at this neat hook! Do you uh, think maybe it belonged to a pirate? Uh, uh. <laughs> Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. At least Freddy is mindful. Or thoughtful. Or whatever. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Now it's way anchor. This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy. Fire away. Oh my. Come on, come on. Whoa. Yeah. Oh gosh. I suspect Mr. Fingers. Whoa, no way, baby. I don't know wrestling. Just piano playing. After we found the note to the wrestler saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note. In a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B flat, but really, it's an A flat. Big difference. All right, let's try someone else. Mr. Barker, you've been 
in some financial trouble lately, haven't you? What makes you say that? Luther and I overheard you talking to a loan shark about it. Ah. Uh, uh, uh -huh. We also read your IOU, even though you tried to tell us it was a poem. You rustled the hubfish to pay off your debt, didn't you? Yeah, I'm afraid I did. <gasps> what was it that first tipped you off? It was the gum. You had an awfully small supply for a gum salesman. And I got to wondering what had happened to the rest of it. The hogfish were still chewing it when we got here. Yes, yeah, Super Rubber Bubble lasts a long time. It's a fabulous product, which is why I borrowed money to invest in it. But the sales weren't so good. And I was going to have to declare bankruptcy. I figured even if I couldn't sell the hogfish, I could at least get into hogfish ranching. Which, as you know, is a much more respectable profession than sales. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out of my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> it's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats? Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! <laughs> now come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. <laughs> they do have good singing voices. And yeah, that did throw me off where they where they were talking about the um they were doing their little deduction thing there. <laughs> yeah. I mean was was like uh Luther talking like Luther looked like he was talking like he had um Freddy's voice. <laughs> Freddy's voice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. Was that the original game? I don't remember. Well, uh, that's it for this game. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time.